What's up guys, welcome to another edition of the vlog and it's a really special one. Today we play the main event of the PSPC. It's $25,000 buy-in, there's 400 platinum passes. It's the best one of the year already in January and I can't wait to play. Of course, we're gonna vlog everything. Lex Valhais YouTube, the greatest channel <laughs> on youtube.com. Subscribe today. Look at you. Were you Oprah? <laughs> you get a ticket, you get a ticket, yeah. you get a ticket. <laughs> he just, just he already had his plug. I've done my plug. I don't need to speak to this guy. Look at that. Oh my. No. No, I'm table 37. Uh, Why are you acting like it's the first tournament ever? As if we were like, oh no, we're at the same table. No, no, no. I have a really that good, was just a little bit. I have a really good history of you in 10Ks versus you in 10Ks and 5Ks. Yeah, whatever. I, I think you've knocked me out of what? 2 10 You've knocked me out of a 25K. 25K, two 10Ks, and three 5Ks. Three 5Ks? Yeah, I keep track. Yeah, yeah I bet. I have like this little list of like, scribbling into my wall. Just off camera, just like another one. <laughs> yeah, another DJ one. Khaled. Another yeah. one. Yeah. And then I'm like laughing, I'm holding my lap, and on, my, on the phone I go, hey, sorry, buddy. And I'm like, me and Mirza like. <laughs> my favorite bit on stream is whenever no Lex knocks me out of a 10K, he's like, that's horrible. That's so, ah. Uh, against a friend as well. You know the, the gif of that woman when she's like laughing, like trying to like cry, and they're just like giggling. That, that's you, 100%. Yeah. I, and I would love to knock you out of a 5K. If I knock you out of a 5K or a 10K online on stream, I'm going to let my emotions pour out. So far, pour he's been letting his emotions pour out when he loses, because he's always like snap shows, like, why do I call Lex anyway? He always has it. Yeah, yeah, I've been, real, I've been real bad recently. I've been real salty. Like I'm rolling my eyes and I pay him off. And I'm like, this guy never, well, I'm sad. But like, act, not like needle, like banter, like actual. Good luck today. Yeah, you too. It's a big one. Yeah. I know that you're doing Lexus vlog and stuff. I need some, if you could just swing by my table periodically and I'll pay you privately for some of the clips for my channel. Is that all right? Well, Lex, I need to. I've been funding this guy for seven years now. I'm done with it. You know, he's having a lot of back problems carrying me and the, you yeah. know, this team as a whole. Have him on a, in a bag on my shoulder, just carrying spray. Please stream, come on. Have a great day. All right, you too, buddy. Have a great day. Are they all fucking Spanish? What the fuck is going on? Today, buddy. Yeah, this is the one. You excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. You're the Spanish champion? Uh, yeah. Why is it like? Is there just so many Spanish yeah. Platinum Pass winners? Yeah, yeah. They That's all just insane. Walking together chanting. Yeah, it's I amazing. I thought they were coming in to take Bin, over the place. Bin Chin here. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm all right. Yeah, Lex again. <laughs> Only one bullet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. If I bust a tournament instantly now, it's like, yeah, what do we do with this day? Imagine if you got 300 big minds in with Ace Five first five hands. Yeah. Think of the views. Yeah, like, and then still be the biggest make, idiot. You're, you're, you're here to make content, <laughs> get Ace-5 suited in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. down you right now, that's where the gold is. And then just post you crying outside on your round. Imagine he was the first one out, how good would that be? Yeah, that would yes, be great. you have five days at the beach as well. Everybody would be so happy. <laughs> Pokestar's happy. Everybody watching would have so much respect for me. Yeah, you're, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, I, you're I, a good I, friend. I hope you 10 stars. 10 stars. Good luck. What do you, you, you look like a tourist, amazing. That's the point. That's the point. You know, Ramon won with a uh, Bahaman uh, yeah, shirt. That's right, yeah. So the Spanish guys today, we are all with a uh, Bahaman shirt. They nice. have in honor to Ramon and to go. Because we are like uh, 118 Spanish Platinum Pass owners. Yes. That's insane. We need we need to be a lot of Spanish just to win an event. You already had a Spanish winner. It's time for a Dutch one. I, the, the, the good thing about this is you have to pretend like you know what's going on you know that's why everybody sees me walk to the table like that's so already getting nervous well i'm not here to make people nervous by the way i'm here to have fun i'm here to be chatty make people comfortable and then take their chip you know your first one i'm your first player, uh, you are first player. Yeah, yeah, yeah what did you think i meant when i said first one <laughs> what So I just started, things just kick off. My table looks really good. The level is 100, 200 with 200 anti. Stacks are 60K and under the gun makes it 500. Um, I have no information about the table, small blind calls, uh, and I have queen jack in the big blinds. Pretty easy defense here, uh, no real reason to raise. The under the gun opens, so that's obviously gonna make things a little tighter. Um, the flop comes, king of spades, queen of spades, 
nine of hearts. Pretty good flop for me. Uh, I have a gutter, second pair, vector flush throw. Definitely something I want to continue on. Uh, it's always easy to have an auto decision here. The pot is 1700, the small man checks, I check, and under the gun, uh, bet 600. Now, I have no other move than call here. I think that my hand is really good. Um, he looks like he's capable. Uh, he just said that he watches my stuff, that he's been playing for five years. So I think that he knows what he's doing, but obviously I'm not sure yet. Good thing I only have one move, uh, so I call. The turn is ace of hearts. Very interesting. I expect this card to get bet a lot, um, but uh, it's also a great card for me. I have the second not flush draw. Uh, obviously the 10 is still gonna give me the best hand. So uh, again, it's gonna be an easy check call. I check and now under the gun checks. This makes me think that he probably has something connected around the king. Maybe a hand like like mine, like queen jack or queen 10, king jack, king 10. Maybe a hand like 10-9, but he has a pair plus something, but not something that's bad enough to bluff. The river is the five of hearts. I make the backer flush. Great card for me. I bet 2,500 in a pot of 2,900. I really want to get paid by a hand like king jack or king 10, or maybe he checks back a hand like ace jack or ace 10 on the turn, and I want to get paid by those. It's a good thing to bet big because I don't expect to get raised very often here and I want to get value for my hand. I have the nuts. I could think about check raising, but I honestly don't think he's going to bet that often or he would have bet the turn. Now he makes it 13,000. Alarm bells are going off. Um, I don't think he's bluffing very often uh, because if he has the king of hearts, he has an excellent hand to just call. There's not a whole lot of other hands that he can turn into a bluff here. And a lot of his barrels on the turn would have been his bluffs. The one thing I need to consider is would he raise with hands uh, for value that are worse than mine? And he definitely would. 7 8 of hearts, 10 8 of hearts, um, 7 6 of hearts are all in there. Um, so that means that you just have to call. Uh, there could be a random spew bluff uh, without a heart, uh, even though I doubt it. But my hands are too strong to fold. If I would fold this hand, um, then I would be pretty much only call with the king eye flush run. That would be nonsense. So I have to ignore the alarm bells here and just call. Uh, there's zero reason to raise because at that point I will only get called by king high flush. Uh, I call, unfortunately, as king seven of hearts and it's not the start I would have wanted to my PSPC. Hey Sam, good luck. Did you have a good time yesterday? Oh, so good. Yeah? So good. I got a good rest too. Oh, it feels so nice. I, I don't sleep the greatest sometimes, but okay. last night like a baby. So yeah? I'm so ready for I can tell. Whenever people say like a baby that they don't have kids. <laughs> this is very true. Because yeah. my baby also slept like a baby and we were awake every 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and you did not sleep like me. No, no. Uh, How's it going in there? Yeah, good. Good table. You know, it's nice. I, won I lost a big pot, won a big pot. So I feel like I got my feet wet. You know what I mean? Me too. I just won a big pot just before break to get me back to starting. And I'm just like, oh, okay. That feels, yeah. that feels good. Isn't it weird? Like we play so much and then you still have that feeling. But it's just, it's just like this tournament, you know. At the start, I lost a big pot. And it's so crazy how many emotions went through my head like oh no start at the end can you imagine like out in like an hour it's gonna suck for the vlog like what if like i can't be out like it's, and i was like jesus fucking christ if i bust i bust yeah and you still and, have a million blinds it's yeah. not like you're sitting there with 20 blinds yeah <laughs> but you know i was like down to 30k and i was like and then it just started okay. going through my head and i was just like actually so like, come on but like even if you go out it'll be for a good reason yeah, yeah, yeah. something will happen i'll make a decision that i think is good and i could be out it's not like i'm punting it away with you know the emotions though the emotions like Isn't that, yeah it's great though i love that i love when you play like you use something so much and you play something that's like a different kind of setting and stage yeah, yeah. and you go through like that loop again you know mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. very cool yeah. i'm gonna grab some food man good luck cool. out there yeah you too Fatty. what's that rice krispies with marshmallow starbucks huh? like Okay. I'm turning into marshmallow this trip. Oh, yeah. I lost so much weight before, but now I'm just eating, just, just playing poker, like, I need fuel, and then there's the hamburgers. <laughs> I think I, at first, the first day, I ate like only a few protein bars, and then, or like one protein bar, and now I'm just like, every break, grab something for fuel, you know, because you get tired. Breakfast, eating a breakfast sandwich with, ba with bacon and stuff. This morning you had fried potatoes and what did you have with what the fried fuck potatoes? Is this? What are you? Just exposing you? Just exposing me? <laughs> like, what, what, what the hell? Like a food shaming me. Like no. he's taking like tiny bits of my marshmallow rice. Oh recipe. yeah, mm, a little bit too much sugar for me, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Diet Coke. You know. Yeah, Diet Coke. Yeah. 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 No. I've got like two more in my room. <laughs> for the dinner break. Oh yeah. For the dinner break. Doing pretty well. I have starting stack. Uh, lost It's his first jacks. For uh, 18k total, that's too bad, but it's fine. Uh, still doing well. 
won a lot of nice small pots. I think I made some really good decisions. So uh, it's been good. Going on? Yeah, what's up? Man? How you doing, bro? Good to yeah, see you. Good. How you wearing, doing, huh? wearing it with pride now. Huh? Yeah, man. You can wear it so again now. now. <laughs> How you been? How you doing? Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, enjoying myself. Yeah. How's your jet lags? I just got in, yeah. So yeah. I've been playing for about 10 minutes, literally. Okay. Shall I tell you what happened? First yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First hand is I felt like crying, yeah. I sat in, and I didn't really get to see all of the action, but I had cards in it. I had six, seven of diamonds, but the, it got raised, so I folded it, because I would just sat down. Yeah. So I thought, all right, just fold it. There's too much action going on. The flop was eight, nine, 10 diamonds. No. <laughs> <laughs> Punished immediately. I love First it. hand, I was like, what? <laughs> I love how you get off the plane, you sit down, and you're instantly tilted. By the way, I'm loving your YouTube content, man. Nice. Yeah. I think you're going to um, set the trend. Oh. I think you're going to see a few poker players come off Twitch or I've, I've been getting a lot of messages like hey how's it work what about They're the contracts? They're just not brave enough yet yeah and I think you've been brave and therefore they'll pay off and everyone else will follow you. Thanks bro. It's going to happen. Nice. Right yeah. Good to see you Good to see you. Bye. All right so the blind level is 300 600 with a 600 anti. The hijack opens to 1200. Chris Oliver who goes online by the name of I'm the nuts calls on a button. Now, the hijack opens, plays pretty well. Uh, he's defending his big blind pretty wide. He's playing a lot of uh, suited hands. I've seen a lot of 9-7s, but he looks really solid. Chris Oliver, of course, online legend. Everybody knows him, beast of a player. I'm in a big blind, I have ace for offsuit, and my stack is about 55 big blinds. Now, I really want to use some of my offsuit aces to raise here because the suited ones play perfectly as a call. My kicker's kind of shit, so it plays a little bit horrible after the flop, so it's a great uh, hand to uh, turn into a bluff. I make it 6300. The hijack also gets out of the way and Chris calls. Now, uh, as soon as Chris calls here, I think because I have 55 big blinds, if he flat at hands like nines or tens, there's a big chance he would uh, raise. Uh, if he has ace queen, there's a big chance he would jam on me as well. Um, as soon as he calls, I give him a lot of sort of lower pairs um, and a lot of the middle suited kind of hands, a jack 10, queen jack, that sort of stuff. The flop is queen nine deuce with two clubs. Now, this is a horrible flop. Uh, he can definitely peel if he has like a hand like eights or sevens if I bet small uh, with one club and all of his queen jack, king queen, king jack, king ten, all of that stuff hits. Um, at this point I kind of just look at my hand as a preflop steal and I check and give up. Uh, so I check, uh, Chris checks back though, so now this offers us some potential uh, if we can hit some interesting cards. Obviously I'm hoping for an ace or a king, uh, but the turn is a six of spades. At this point, um, I'm still giving up. I think that he's still going to have some hands that he checks back. He can still have some 10-9, he can still have some under pairs, and I'm pretty much done with the hand still. Uh, he checks back again though. Now it gets really interesting, because I think at this point he really would have bet his strongest hands. He would have definitely bet all of his queen x. So now I'm really uh, going towards 9x or under pairs, uh, which I can actually do some fancy stuff against. The river is the seven of spades. Obviously, sevens get there, um, but um, you know that's the only hand that really improves. I think that all of the the straight draws that he could have, uh, he would have bet by now. Um, and I decide to make a little play. I would still be balanced in this spot. Um, I could still check tens and jacks twice. I could have some ace nine, king nine. Um, I could even uh, have some of my weaker queens uh, for balancing. Um, but I'm definitely trying to wrap something like tens, jacks, ace nine, king nine, ten nine, uh, anything that's some sort of like second pair quality. Um, it's important not to bet too small because then he gets great odds. Uh, so I decided to bet 8,200 into 15,000. He thanks for a really, really long time and I'm really sweating it. Um, at a certain point, he even says I beat ace nine and I lose to jacks, which means he has tens. Um, obviously trying to ignore everything that he's saying, but um, in the end he gives it up. Plan worked out perfectly, I made him fold a good hand, obviously represented exactly what I was hoping for. Nice. It's been a uh, wild, yeah, it's nice. I want to, yeah, I played a lot of pots where I was kind of sort of like blinding down and then I had a, a nice hand and uh, I mean obviously the hands versus Chris Oliver and now I made a really good turn bet, I think. So I'm, I feel like I'm playing well feel good uh, starting stack but yeah I mean it was down to like 30k at two points so I just feel like I'm uh, battling in the mix and I mean it's catching up you know the blinds are catching up the next level is going to be 501k I mean I have 50 big blinds I can literally go in one hand you know it's kind of crazy when it gets to this stage in these big tournaments so uh, yeah excited for after dinner
We're down to 13 McBlinds now, it's 600, 1200, and I have about 27 and a half thousand chips. My table's pretty good. There are some good regulars on, um, but also some tighter players, some PSPC Platinum Pass winners. Uh, so overall, pretty good table. Under the gun opens. My assessment of him, I know he's a Platinum Pass winner. He is not afraid to get in the mix, but it's still a tournament that's a lot bigger and he's really hemming and hawing over most of his decisions. Um, so that means that he's gonna uh, fold a little bit more. Two to his left, Oliver Weiss, who's a, a regular from Germany, he calls. Um, and I think that he's gonna play pretty linearly. Uh, he will play his good hands fast and all of his marginal hands will call. And then he's gonna mix in some bluffs. Um, but once he flats, I don't think there's any slow playing there. Uh, so that's a pretty good spot for me. Especially when it falls around to me and I'm in the cutoff and I have uh, ace jack of spades. Really good hand to shove with. This would already be a good hand to go all in with, but now the fact that uh, there's a qualifier opening and a regular trying to take advantage of that, it's even better. So I sail in my last 23 big blinds and immediately I get some bad news because to my left, player looks very interested in snap calls. And the indication of a snap call is usually I wanna look strong to the people left to the left of me. If he has aces or kings or queens, he's more considering it, trying to weigh his options so that people behind him think, oh, maybe he's not that strong. But if somebody instantly shoves, they just want a pair to fall behind them. And that's really bad news for me. So um, the other two players get out of the way and I ask him, that, sound, that smells like an ace king. And he says, yes, it's ace king. So he has the um, ace of hearts, king of diamonds, and we get it all in. Flop is queen 10 7 with two spades. Uh, amazing board for me. Um, obviously, I can hit a king for a straight. My jack's no good, but I also pick up a spade flush draw. The board runs out blank, blank though, and that is almost the end of my PSPC. Uh, very frustrating um, to hit a board like that and then miss, but it's the way of things. I had 600 left after this end and I wasn't able to spin it up. I got it in the next hand with king 10 versus queens and jacks and the queens of Arlie Shaban uh, took it down. So that's uh, two last hands for me. Very unfortunate. If I hit a spade there, I'm back to a really good stack, but that's all she wrote. GG. All right guys, so unfortunately, as you saw, I busted the PSPC. All in all, it was a great experience. Had a good night of sleep. Uh, I look back on it with very fond memories, even though it was just a day of grinding. Uh, I think I played really well, played some interesting hands. Uh, but to be honest, for me, the poker strip is not over yet. I decided to play the 25K tomorrow and I'm gonna vlog everything. So you're gonna see hands, emotions, talks around the table, everything. So stay tuned.